last seven years. And then we moved to Georgia and signed since seven to 15, I was living there. But I'm trained my whole life in Spain, in Alicante, my team clean and cup. When I was 15 years old, I go with my brother to talk uh, to my father. No, I'm going to tell him like, hey dad, we don't want to uh, go to school anymore, but we, we, we really want to train and we're going to go like all day, every day in the gym and we're going we're gonna to train. And he told me like, if you really going to train all the time and like you, like you tell me, you have my, my uh, approval. And because my dream was to get to, to fight in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, fight out of the bull corner, Ilya Topuria. Alkamaan. Mika Hämäläinen vastaa Ilja Topuri. Tavallaan se hyvän aseman on pitänyt. Oi, 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 oi. Niskan puolelle. Oho, oho. oho. Nyt on sähäkkää Siinä tuli toimittu. jotenkin näyttää, että olisi tullut vähän tuo Topuri oikea käsi, minkä veti nyt tonne Mikan niskan puolelle. Oi, oi, oi. Ei ole mikään heittopussi tää Topuri. Ei, ei todellakaan. No niin, ja sieltä no lähti Mika hakee matkoa. Topuria pikkasen, pikkasen otti häkistä kiinni ja sai sillä kautta lopullisesti tuo alasvienni ja Mika jäi nyt itse tuonne alle. alle ikävä, Topuria kyllä. jatkaa aika hyvin, aika hyvin kyllä. Tosi aktiivisesti vähän, vähän, vähän Mika jotenkin jäi nyt jähmetty tuohon odottamaan, että mitähän se niinku oikein meinaa. Ai ai, kyllä Topuria... Tu- oi, oi. oi herra jestas. Siinä osu polvella ja... Mikan pää kestää. Näköjään. Oi oi oi. No niin, ja siitä lähtee ruuvaa kiljotiin ja sitten... Uts. Meneekö läpi? Onko hyvä? Tätä on paljon puhuttu, että kuinka helposti tämä on sellainen kaveri. Että... Winner by Guillotine Choke, Ilja Topuria! Topuria almost getting him into a stand and bang type of fight. Beautiful stinging jab. Oh, and he's catching him early. Gomez throwing back. Just as we predicted, beat him into a firefight, and there's the takedown. Really, Topuria just landing those crushing elbows. Using such intelligent top dominance. Once you get Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on top of you, it's going to be very difficult to move them anywhere. Uses the gear fight beautifully. Flatten out Gomez. Still our referee knows El Predador very, very well. He knows how tough he is, how durable he is. And yes, I'm about to try and go. The end. About to try and go. And the arm arm. And it's, it's over. over. At one minute and 15 seconds of the very first round. Mounted triangle armor. Locked it. Nick take the action. We're in the way here. Round one. Hey, 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 Pound for pound, as strong a fighter as I have ever seen in the Brave Cage. He absolutely, absolutely unbelievable defense. And there's that head kick again. Stevie Gonzalez right back on it. And Ilya Topuria with the take. That's it. Get back to his feet and looking to draw some more blood. He needs to get his back off. Back. Oh, he gets My dream was to get to, to fight in the UFC. I asked myself all the time why, but I didn't get that answer. You know, it was something that was, was living inside myself, you know, and I, I like a lot to, to motivate myself. You know, I should wake up every morning and to tell myself like, hey, Ilya, you have like two options. 
to keep sleeping and keep with your dreams or wake up and make it true, you know, little by little, step by step, you know, like I always say, slow is the fastest way to get what you want. I'm the next champion, you know, and that was what, what I, I, I was saying in science long time ago. Competing in the UFC for the first time, Taporia has been waiting his whole career for this moment. And as a perfect 8-0 pro record shows, the 23-year-old is more than ready to take the next step by attempting to halt Salah's winning streak. Just in the This is just such an aggressive submission attack. Oh! Big left hook. Oh. Here's the knee. Oh, I think we're seeing Zalal slow down a little bit here, Dan. Oh, he's trying to... Oh, oh boy, the corner, there's the knee. But it offered a level change into Poria Graf. Oh. oh! They wanted to just kick off and oh, like disengage this grappling. Because you can see there's a clear advantage here for Taporia. Oh, that's a great job. Oh. Looks so oh. But it was caught by Tapuria. And there it is. Ilya Tapuria! So, I always say, you know, when, when I have a proper training camp, I make everyone look easy, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna make him really easy. Everyone's gonna sit. Pretty good counter right from Topuria early. Ooh, that was a big difference. You saw that Topuria was able to pull him in with the fake, and then he was able to counter on the angle. Very clean shot. strike from Topuria early, right to the bottom. You see a cut on the bridge of Damon Jackson's nose now. The big difference I'm noticing is the fakes and the feints. While well, you got to know Topuria on Fight Island back in October, he's really working on his English as well. He really likes to try to do these interviews on his own without a translator. Right. Which is good to see. He knows he wants to be able to come over here and be a star. I mean, he's just unloading on Damon Jackson right now. All combinations. Those body shots have now officially... Oh, that that set up the headshot and it's all over. The That's it. The walk-off KO he just for Ilya chopped him down like a tree. Oh my goodness gracious. And like you said, that was all because of going to the body and setting everything up. And that opened up that left hook and just landed clean. I mean, picture perfect, striking 101. Damon Jackson, a good name to himself as well, but looking into uh, to 2021, what are some of the names that are on your radar that you would like to challenge yourself with in the, in the cage? The only man who means something for me, it's the man who, ha who has the belt, you know? I don't care about anyone else, you know? I, I just want the man who has the belt, and anyone, I don't care. I, I, I want to fight with anyone. I don't chose my opponent before the belt. And you know, I'm, I'm young, I have a, um, a lot of things to, for improve, and I'm the next champion, you know? And that was what, what I, I, I was saying in science long time ago. And I want to say one more thing. I, 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 I was waiting for the bono in my first fight, but this time I, I won my bono, you know? My fight bono. I won, for, I won my fight bonus. Hey, translator, how... Uh, yeah. Translated. My bonus, 50 my G. Bon 50 Gs, yeah. <laughs> I want my 50 Gs. You deserve it. Yeah, thank you so much, my man. We'll get, well, a fight bonus with the fight boner is even better, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> thank Congrats you. on the win. I need to be able to use my hands for a grappling. Are you ready? Okay. So you want Tom or not? Tom. First round, buddy, you ready? Buddy, you ready? Let's fight! Johnny Nunez versus Ryan Hall. This was a quick one. We get to see Ryan's first trick in the competition. Yeah. Ryan Hall specializes in jiu-jitsu, and in particular, the 50-50 position. It's a position where the legs are entangled. Ryan is an expert in the position, and very few people are. Ryan jumped underneath right away, got to the leg, his bread and butter, and got the finish. It was quick, it was smooth. It was his move, and he executed it.
winner by heel hook, Ryan Hall. That's one of the series of things that I like to do, and I like that people say that the stuff that I do doesn't work in MMA, but they were wrong. When it comes to jiu-jitsu, people don't think it'd be like it'd be, but it do. Yeah, that's, you look him up, that's what he's known for. It's like, you. <laughs> Undefeated, the rising star. A lot of people think he is going to be a future champion in the UFC, and a lot of you have been asking me to have him on the program. I'm talking about Ilya Toporia, and he joins us. ¿Cómo estás? Hey, what's up, Aria? What's happening? Muy bien. ¿Cómo estás tú? Oh, yes, it's great to have you. you. It's good. Yes, I'm doing very well. You're always uh, very nicely coiffed and groomed. Everything is just perfect with you. I like it very much. Much respect. Yeah. Not just trying to be the best in fighting, you know, trying to be the best looking too. I like it. You're you're still relatively young. You think 145 is going to be your your weight, or eventually, do you think you'll have to move to 55? No, no, I'm gonna stay in 145, and when I'm gonna beat here everyone, and then I'm gonna start to think about move. Yeah, to 155, but not because uh, to stay in 155 just to make some big fights. And sure, come back. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see. I don't like to talk about about that things. You know, go up, come down. First of all, I want to smash everyone in this division. Sure. Take that belt, and then we'll see. Everything will come. And still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. What's your name? Paddy Dunlop. Okay, do you have a fight nickname? name? My coach calls me Paddy the Paddy Dunlop. Paddy the Paddy. That's it. Fuck you, bitch. Kind enough to be joined right now by Ilya Taporia, who is fighting on Saturday against Jai Herbert, but was involved in that mm-hmm. situation. Ilya, como estas? Muy bien, amigo. Glad to talk to you again. How yes, are you? Yes, uh, it is my pleasure. Thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. I know it's uh, it's been a long day, long couple of days for you over there. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, can you tell us your side of the story? Why did that happen yesterday at the hotel? 
So it didn't happen because he told me something yesterday. It comes from a long time ago. He was arguing with uh, one of my closest friends, uh, with Kuram, once in, in Twitter, and he posted, like, uh, now I understand why Russia destroyed Georgia because you are dumps. And it makes my, my blood boil, you know, when I saw, I was like surprised. I didn't believe when I, when I saw that tweet because in 2008, I was living in, in, in Georgia when, when that war happens, you know. And it was a very difficult time for me, for my family, for, uh, for all my friends, for my country, you know. A lot of innocent people, kids were dying in that, that war. And see, see how someone is joking about that. It makes my blood boil. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Everything in talks. Little mushroom. Hey. You little chorizo, you fucking Spanish sausage. You fucking pussy. This in the lightweight division, a maximum three five-minute rounds. Thank you very much, Jenny, all the way from Brazil to be here with us in London. Ilya Taporia fighting up in the UFC lightweight division, looking cool and calm. Shai Herbert, little nod, he's ready to go. They touch him up. Herbert in the red, Taporia in the black. Long, wily frame, sharp limbs of Herbert's been working all aspects of his game, but I do like that Jai also through that game. I mean, the thing is, when you look at them, you don't need the paperwork in front of you to know. Jai's taller, Jai's nice longer. Jab. Eight inch reach advantage, and he has the speed advantage. Da igual las dificultades que he tenido en mi vida, siempre, siempre me he superado en, en, en todo. No me he dejado venir nunca abajo. He tenido miles y miles y miles de excusas para no hacerlo, pero Nunca lo había abandonado. And oh, oh, a little fence grab. Doesn't matter. There it is. He's a bloodied Taporia as well. Man. Jai's doing well. Taporia holding position. Jai's thinking more about submissions yeah. as opposed to that. Getting back up. Nicely done. He hit him with the knee as well. He made him pay on the way up. Nice left hook. Oh, touched him with that weight. Yeah, around the jaw there. But now Jai's got to be careful. What happened Ooh. before was he got carried away, he got excited, and he ended up on his back. Oh, another big knee. I mean, that man comes to the mouthpiece. There he goes. Jai smells seconds. the finish here. He's closing in. He's got just over 10 seconds to do some more work. There's the clapper. Set a big right hand. Huge right hand. Will Taporia meet the bell? Massive shots from Jai Herbert. We'll be back after the break. Jai Herbert, very mobile, looking for that jab and that big right hand that's been so successful for him. The live odds have Taporia as the favorite right now. Whoa! Big right over the top from Taporia, well, still in it. I mean, because they know who Taporia is and yeah. the fact that he can come back at any moment in this fight. But Jai Herbert looking fantastic thus far. Yeah, I mean, listen, coming into this one, you figure that Taporia is the favorite and for good reason. Oh, 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 my word! Unbelievable knockout by Taporia. The O2 can't believe what just happened. Well, he flipped the script tonight. Just say. I mean, and that's why the odds don't change when this man is in the octagon. Even if he's had a rough first round, he has got dynamite in his hands. He can take this fight to the ground. And you know what, John? You talked about these Georgians. That toughness and durability, unbelievable.
Capital One Arena here tonight after turning in just the second Twister submission in UFC history. Dominant performance tonight and a huge win. Congratulations. How do you feel? I want to thank God for my family, my friends, my teammates, coaches, manager, uh, everybody back home in Arkansas supporting me. Y'all know I love Arkansas. And Reebok, y'all going to have to kill me or make me some camo shorts because I ain't shutting up till then. And Donald Trump, I'm up here in D.C., if you need help whooping some politician, holler at me, brother. I'll do it for free. There he is, your winner, Thug Nasty, Bryce Mitchell. Watch your team, she's gonna, he, he's gonna rap on December 10th. <laughs> what the fuck is doing? Bro. He thinks he's a rapper, he's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Arkansas, fuck through the dark and saw light at the end of the tunnel. My energy's funnel, my enemies talking, they chuckle. I don't give a fuck, ain't no need to rebuttal. They look in my eyes and they know I won't buckle. Been from the jungle, I've been down to rumble. Give me the microphone, I'll keep it humble. And give me the weight and I ain't on a fumble. That's a bad habit, I learned out in cabot. I'll go get a pound and put it in the attic. If I need some money, then I'ma go grab it. Fighting is good, but that shit is sporadic. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't been living lavish. I'm straight out the trailer, I cuss like a sailor. Love on my clothes, but they ain't custom tailor. My girl, yeah, she's in love with me. Gets it abundantly, she gets up under me. Gripping and hugging me, all of a sudden. Lee missing me, kissing me, no social distancing. Girl, I'm up in your business, and I love fucking with you. I'll roll you a swisher, you been in the picture. You made my life better, I been through the weather. Not Conor McGregor, I can't get no cheddar. I can't sell me no pay-per-views, ain't slept in a day or two. Look at me working, I'm hurting, I'm out of the dirt. And you know that's for certain, and behind the curtains are really ain't secret. You know how I keep it If my coaches said it Then y'all best believe it We have been training No need to explain it to me This ain't entertainment Taking a fight That's always sacred My family is watching They're up there in heaven I must bring them honor When there's no exception They see me defeated They see me depleted Choked out ain't breathing And crying and bleeding I still got beliefs So there ain't no retreating Been beaten and battered Been withered and tattered The bones have been shattered It don't even matter I just keep going I just keep throwing Punches is coming And I just keep rolling I was real little When my mama said to me Be a real man Have some integrity Go and work harder, don't be like your father Excuses are useless, the truth is I'm ruthless I thought that you knew this, I ain't making music This is expression, I got some aggression It stems from depression, I'm making progression I'm counting my blessings, I love my profession Excel with exception, ain't even a question I pray for direction, a sense of connection I'm money and fame and bitches, I want something more Something for real that I feel to the core I pray and I bow and I worship, I want a true purpose Here I am God and I give you my service Out of the soil a fighter emerges I'm not rapping. <laughs> I'm training all day, every day, my friend. So be careful. Be careful. Ilya said, I'm a coward. Does a coward show up prepared to die? Voy a pelear con Bryce Mitchell. Es una buena pelea. Pelear dos invictos. Y es una gran oportunidad. Tonight's Fight Clock is brought to you by Timex. The watch you'll be fighting over this holiday. Shop now on Timex.com. Bryce Mitchell in those camo trunks. Ilya Topuria in red. Whoever wins this fight goes to the absolute top of the division. Ooh, nice calf kick. Strong low hold. Because he expects to take that home. Beautiful right hand by Topuria. It's so clean. Oh, good right hand by Bryce. 
There's there the shot. Is. Yep, that's a single. Russell, one leg. Great job pushing him to the side of the octagon. To try to get your hands off. Very nicely done by Tabulia. Oh, oh right here. Now Tabulia knows he can defend takedowns. They get more Russell. Right, he just walked for the police. Nice knee up the middle. Yep. All right, round two is upon us. We check in with the coach, Dean Thomas, after a big left hand from Toporia. Dean. I tell you what, Toporia did three things beautifully. The low stance, the straight punches to the body. Pretty good shot there by Mitchell after Toporia had landed a right hand. Toporia stuffed it. A little more willing. Oh, look at that. Again. Once again. Big right hand, winding up. He's got a short one. punctuates with a high hit kick. Tavoria retreats for a moment. But he's starting to land now. He looks tired though. Mouth wide open. I think he got stung. Oh, big up. This is a... I think this is a mistake. He managed to maintain the position, which is very good for Tavoria. Because he's in Bryce Mitchell's world. Oh, he's, yeah, he's back. Big shot. Big shot by Capulia. Wow. Mitchell urgently gets back to his feet. Capulia continues to apply pressure. He's got to be careful with overthrow it. He's trying to knock him out with every shot. Every shot. He's going to get himself tired too. Beautiful uppercut there though. He clipped him with that uppercut. Uh, Mitchell is bloodied and battered but undeterred. Over two minutes still to go round two. Topuria is excellent. He's all over him. Yeah, he's all over him. And this is an incredible pace, but Topuria is really... Oh, my, oh my goodness. Look yeah. at this. Look at this. Oh, that's tight. Whoa! He's still undefeated! Wow! Ilya Topuria submits oh my Bryce goodness. Mitchell! Wow! Oh, my goodness. He beat him up. He beat him he up beat him and up. he submitted him. Wow! Oh, my goodness. Ilya Topuria is the real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, ten seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle, Ilya Elmetador Ilya, I got a bit of a shiner there, but it didn't seem like you were in that much trouble in this fight. I want to talk about how comfortable you looked on the feet. What was it about your striking that landed you so much success? So before I walk out in, inside the cage, I knew that I was way better than him. Anywhere to fight wouldn't take the place and strike him in the ground and I pro it. Rank number 14, I believe, heading into this one within the division. You beat number nine. Where does that place you in terms of featherweight and moving forward into 2023? So right now I'm 5-0 in, in, inside the UFC. So in 2023, I wouldn't love to fight for the title directly because I know that I'm the best in the world and that I'm that the number one guy. But I know that the champ is it's busy. He's gonna move up the lightweight division. So I don't wanna I don't wanna wait so much. We'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. I don't wanna go inside the cage just with, with with someone someone normal. You know, I I wanna make the people exciting. That the people gonna think that. My opponent is better than me, sure. maybe in the ground or in striking or something like that. So I wanna, I want that expectations, you know, when I walk out inside the cage. Mucha gente pregunta tú. ¿Por qué haces MMA? ¿Cómo has acabado haciendo esto? No lo sé. Casualidades de la vida. Nunca lo he buscado. La vida me ha llevado hasta ahí. Me enganché. Fue como una adicción. A mí lo único que me importa es que vaya escalando, vaya subiendo para pelear por el título lo antes posible. Y, y después pues mantenerme en las peleas que de verdad forjan el legado de un deportista. Poco a poco, paso a paso. Me lo quiero demostrar a mí mismo que no hay nada imposible en esta vida. Okay, Chairman, bring out the rules. You know, 
exactly what I expect. This is the all time to keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch the hand, God bless. Super awkward in that moment. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It really is. You just want to fight already. Why are we standing here in front of each other? Can we do this now? <laughs> All right, this fight clock is brought to you by Toyo Tires, official tire of UFC. Josh Hammond in black pressing forward. Ilya Toporti is shelled up in red.